Today I'm reviewing and trying the Dyson Corral flat iron. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you like hair, fashion, and product reviews, then definitely consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. So it took me a long time to decide if I wanted this flat iron. To be honest, I was sort of like, why would I spend $500 on a flat iron when you can get one for $100? The main thing that got me to buy it is that it's cordless and I love Dyson products. I have the vacuum, I have the blow dryer, and I have the air wrap. So when they came out with this, I kind of just wanted it. I don't have a flat iron at home, oddly enough, and I thought this one seems really cool. So I finally did it, I got it, and now we're gonna see if it's worth it and what's the hype about. Seems like the main things is the ionizing properties, copper that flexes to gather the hair and flat iron it with less heat. The cordless flat iron is really cool. That's amazing. Can't wait till all the tools are cordless. The intelligent heat control. Integrated sensor system regulates the temperature of the plates 100 times a second. I think that's just saying that it's gonna be evenly heated and it's not going to fluctuate as much as maybe some others might. So the box has a picture of the Dyson, sort of the insides, the engineering of it. So in the box, we have the flat iron itself, a travel case. This is super soft, has instructions for the flight tab. Then you just put your flat iron in here. You can roll it up and then it has like soft ribbon. Here's the stand to put on display. This is what the charger connects to in the back. And it comes with this charger. It's pretty heavy duty. But this you charge, plug into here. And then the Dyson itself just goes like that. So when you first get the Dyson, it has this. So you have to push this light symbol into this socket um, to make it turn on. It says, before you fly, pull out the flight ready tag to disconnect the battery. There's a QR code here if you want more information about that flight tag. I did have to look it up to see how do I get this thing to work. So once you get the flight tag pushed in, you set up this stand and then there's this charging piece that it comes with and it that part is magnetic, which is totally cool. You just like plugs in like that. So once you have your stand set up, you can just place the flat iron right on top of it. Just makes a ding and it shows that it's how charged it is. Mine's fully charged. It has a lock feature so you can keep it unlocked or you can lock it. So it feels pretty heavy. I'm surprised how heavy this is. The plates are pretty standard sizing I would say. The cool thing is it does have a curve to it so you could probably use it for curling, maybe getting some volume on top. I think the coolest part about this Dyson flat iron is that it's cordless. I think I saw GHD is also doing a cordless flat iron, so it's not as novel. When I got it, I was just like so impressed. I can't wait till my blow dryer is cordless and my curling iron's cordless and literally any tool I use that plugs in, I'd prefer it to be cordless. This is really nice because you can do it from anywhere. It really feels free. Just be able to grab it and go flat iron your hair. Dyson says that the fact that these flex, it gathers the hair. You don't get hair spilling out, but you have hair coming together and flat ironing seamlessly. So you press power, says check, and then you just press the plus sign and you can set the temperature here. 365 or 410 are the options. I'm gonna go with 365 and you just hit up and down to change that. And then you can see this little indicator line. Kinda looks like a Pac-Man like eating the dots. Once it finishes, then it's warm. So it heats really fast. Okay, so earlier today I curled my hair. So I'm gonna see how this does taking out the curl. And I'm just going to section out my hair. I'm doing like an inch above my ear and then around through the back. And then I'm just using my slip hair tie. Okay, so I just sectioned out my hair about an inch over my ear. 
and then around my occipital bone in the back. And I'm just taking my hair in half in the back and bringing it forward. I have this Dyson comb that came with, I think it was my blow dryer that I use at the salon. I usually use a wet brush to detangle my hair, so I only use this when I'm doing styling. I like to work in vertical sections when I flat iron the hair just because I think it lays a little bit flatter. One vertical section from the middle to an inch behind my ear. Hold the hair straight out and then just sort of flat iron the root to mid length. I'm doing three passes. And then I like to get my comb and use it to catch the hair so I don't burn myself. And I'll just do two on the ends. Usually if you flat iron your hair too much, your ends will get really damaged. So I like to do more at the root where it's a little more resistant and then less at the ends. So now I'm gonna take everything that's behind my ear. Earrings are probably not the best way to flat iron your hair. So again, holding it straight out. One, two, three passes. And I'm not like clamping it down like iron fist grip. I'm just letting the plates touch, but letting it be gentle. So I'm not ripping the cuticle off my hair. Catching the hair with my comb, coming back around, flat ironing it one more time to smooth it. So it looks really shiny, very even. This is the curl I had in earlier, so it definitely took it out. So I'm gonna take down my second section, which basically means I'm just taking a mohawk section on top, everything from the parietal ridge up and grabbing around my crown area bringing it all up, getting out of my way. A clip might be easier here, but I just have this hair tie, so I'm gonna go with it. This isn't as thick of a section for me, so I'm just gonna take everything, the side of my head, into one section. Depending on how much hair you have, you might need to take more sections all the way up the head. Yeah, and depending on how curly your hair is or resistant, you might have to do three or four passes. The one mistake I notice people do a lot is they go really fast. So make sure you take the right amount of hair into your hand so you don't need to work with a lot of hair. You want to go slowly and consistently. You don't wanna go too slow where you burn your hair off. We've all seen those videos, but you also don't want to go too fast where you're not even doing anything and you're just scraping the cuticle off. So around the face, I'm kind of pulling it forward and then I'm trying to get those little baby hairs in. It's so important to use heat protection on your hair whenever you're using a hot tool. It's not a miracle, like you can still burn your hair, but it will keep your hair looking healthier longer. So it made my hair really straight. You can see how much it's shining and it's just very smooth. Let me know what you think about the Dyson. Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. 